Newman. Hey everybody. Well, today I thought we could take a look at this brand new Lego set. It is set number 21328 and it consists of 1,326 pieces. So this is based on the sitcom Seinfeld. And I believe this is Lego's fourth set now involving uh, sitcoms that they've been coming out with lately. They had two sets for Friends, one set for The Big Bang Theory, and now we have this one from Seinfeld. Now, full disclosure here, um, I have only ever seen a handful of episodes from this show, and I've seen a bunch of clips from it too. And for whatever reason, when it was on, I just never kind of watched it or got into it, and now I'm kind of really liking it. And I think Netflix now is thankfully going to start playing the whole series starting in September, I think. So I'm going to try to binge watch the entire show uh, series because there's a whole bunch of really cool Easter eggs all through here, like uh, different things all over Jerry's apartment that I think is a complete, uh, you know, service to fans of this show. And the set itself looks absolutely amazing. On the back of the box here, we can see a different angle of this set, and I have to say that I really like the way they did it. It looks way more like a TV set should look, uh, more so than the two Friends sets and the uh, Big Bang Theory set that came out. I really like the Big Bang Theory, but I never bought that set because they only did Sheldon and Leonard's, ap Leonard's apartment. They should have done Penny's apartment and the hallway as well. It was just kind of, I felt like it was incomplete. This being such an integral part of the show, Jerry's apartment, I mean, you saw it in practically every episode, and it just kind of covers everything. And I also like kind of the overlook of it. It looks like an actual set, and I think it looks fantastic. It even comes with um, a little stage when Jerry's doing his comedy routine. I think that's a great little side build. So it comes with all the main characters. You got Jerry himself, Elaine, George, Kramer, and of course, Newman. And so you get everybody in there. And whenever you build a set that's got all these great little details for interiors and stuff like that, it is so fun to build these kind of things. And I just think it looks amazing. All right, well, let's take a look at all the parts. Okay, so it looks like we have a nine bags total. So you can see the first three there, four, five, and six back here. And we got eight, eight and nine, seven, eight and nine right here. And then we also have this bag here, which is pretty cool. It's an unmarked bag, but these are the big, huge uh, platform pieces for the floor. And we also have the little structures for the lights that go on the top, those little girder things. Yeah, so pretty interesting looking pieces in there. The instruction book here is pretty funny. On the cover, you can see that everybody's staying away from Newman, which is pretty funny how they did that. And inside here, it just kind of talks about the different characters and in different languages. This is the uh, designer and just talking about how he puts it together. And I think these three are part of the design team, I'm guessing. And uh, just some simple instructions we got going on in here. So it looks like we're just going to start with the floor and work our way up. And it's a pretty, uh, I think it, I think the set ends up being pretty wide when it's done. I'll have to see how big it is once it's complete. But yeah, it's really neat how you start with the floor and just kind of work your way up. I love it. All right, so let's take a look at the stickers. Here's the sticker sheet. And these doors hopefully aren't going to be a hassle to put on since they're so big. I do like that they have the two-tone door like... Jerry's apartment actually does have. You can see all the cool little refrigerator magnets and re references in there, the little refrigerator uh, gloves that he has sitting on there, the little oven mitts. Other references, some of this stuff I have seen before uh, for references, some of it I'm not sure what it is, but uh, it's really cool. They have a lot of neat stickers on here. All right, well, I guess I'll get started on this. Just wanted to give you a progress shot here. So this is what you get after uh, bag number two. And there is a lot of these hardwood floorboards going on here. I, I kind of knew there would be a lot, but not this many. And some people are going to find this part repetitive, but I actually really enjoyed it because it's not just kind of the same old pattern over and over. It starts getting kind of mixed up over here where you're going sideways and you got little studs in there and sideways pieces like that. And it's kind of fun, but you just have to really pay attention to where all those pieces go. So yeah, I kind of really enjoyed that part. It's pretty fun. Okay, so first of all, let's start with the minifigures. So on the left, we have Jerry, and in the middle is Kramer, and then uh, there's Elaine on the right. And I love already 
that they have a bunch of Easter eggs right there. So Kramer is carrying that pretzel for when he had that <laughs> one line in a Woody Allen movie where he said, these pretzels are making me thirsty. And <laughs> it's just a funny episode. And then he's also carrying his, his book, the uh, coffee table book about coffee tables. And it's a hilarious episode as well. And I'll show you, there's actually a little uh, inside page in there as well. And then Elaine, she's carrying a goldfish, and I really love that goldfish piece. It's a printed piece, and um, that's from the episode where they're all wandering around the entire episode in an underground parking lot, and uh, Elaine is carrying <laughs> this goldfish. So they, uh, the hair pieces are great. I mean, Kramer's hair with the kind of high hairdo. Look at Elaine's hair. She looks really great. She's got that really big hair piece. I don't know if any of these are new. I don't think they are. And then uh, Jerry, he's got kind of like that mullet style hairdo that he had in some of the seasons. And so uh, that might be a new piece. I'm not really sure. And he's got his microphone too. And they all have alternate faces. So let me show you what those look like. I just turned their hair pieces around so you can kind of see their other face. So they have more of a serious look. And then um, Elaine looks like she's upset, so <laughs> it's pretty cool. But yeah, it's great. So you can pose them in whatever facial expression you'd like. And here's a close-up of Kramer's book, so the coffee table book of coffee tables. You can see the different ones on there. And then when we open it, it has Cosmo Kramer, and it says Giddy Up. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And here we have Newman and George and they look pretty much like their characters as well and uh, Newman is in his post office uh, uniform and he's carrying a letter there and then there is George now I don't know the reference with the bread I'm sure it is something to do with one of the episodes and the fishing reel so uh, I'm gonna have to see if I can see what episodes those came from look at uh, George's hair piece it's really cool kind of the uh, balding horseshoe hairdo there and I don't know if that's a new piece either, or maybe it's a new print. I don't know. I, I've seen that kind of a hair piece before, but this might be a little bit different just for George. But yeah, so let me show you their uh, alternate faces as well. And I just realized that George doesn't have an alternate face. That's the face that you get for him. But uh, Newman there, he's got a more like irritated face, or maybe he's uh, upset about something. So yeah, these minifigures are fantastic. This also has that nice side build of the stage that Jerry performs on when he does his little comedy routine. Got a nice little table there. I love the brick back wall right there. He's got his uh, microphone. I kind of wish they would have put maybe a glass of water or something on the table. It looks kind of weird just having it empty right there. And then we have the Festivus pole. That episode is hilarious. So George Costanza, the a Festivus for the rest of us. I'm sure you all know what that means, but... Yeah, it's really cool that they included this thing. I mean, that's, it's as simple as it is. It's totally hilarious. And if you want to see what the back of this looks like, it's just all brick as well. But those brick pieces are nice. But nice little uh, side build that they made for that. I really like that. I think it's great. And here is the completed apartment. And this is really, really cool. I absolutely love this set. It looks just like Jerry's apartment. I can't believe how they got all the details in there and the layout of it and the proportions of it. I mean, everything looks pretty much spot on. I mean, you know, the apartment would change here and there occasionally with maybe decorations or pictures or different things on the wall or whatever. But, um, but the basics were still there all the time. And this looks great. I mean, it looks just like it. So let's get some close-ups of all the different rooms. Let's start with the living room. We got the nice couch there in that sand green color. You can actually put minifigures on there with the little um, studs there. We got the little recliner or side chair. And those were really fun to build. This coffee table and his phone. He always had the phone on his coffee table. Look at that great rug. It uses those pieces that we saw in the uh, Lamborghini set that had that carbon fiber material. But they use it here as a fabric type of design and it looks really good. As I mentioned, there are a ton of these um, hardwood floor panels all over, but they look really good and they were fun to put on. And there's just so much detail on here. I never actually paid much attention to notice that they had a little table and chairs behind the couch. And um, I was watching some episodes just now and uh, yeah, it's on there. So I was kind of uh, surprised to see that because when I was putting this together, I was like, wow, I didn't realize there was a table there. And this table actually, you can actually uh, turn it. I don't know if it's meant to do that, but it is on a swivel. And you can take all the chairs off if you want to. You can move the uh, couch off if you need to, or say you have to move it around, you don't want to drop anything. But these are all mounted in there pretty good. I mean, you can see if you 
I pull this out, you can just see how it kind of sits on there. And this actually sits with that little stud right there, or the little one by two piece. So yeah, they have all kinds of different ways that they have these put on. Here is that little uh, bookshelf, and I love the way they kind of do the detailing just by using tiles and different colors and stuff. There's even a roller skate piece in there. It looks like some drawers. There is a nice little uh, car picture. And this one here, I am guessing, is a portrait of Uncle Leo. Is that who that is? That's my guess. I think it's Uncle Leo. I think that's a reference to him. Around here, you can kind of see how the whole walls go around there. There's the little light sconces. Let's take a closer look at this computer room. Okay, so it's a little hard to get my camera in here, but you can kind of see there's a, a portrait on the wall right up there. And then on the computer, uh, it says Vandalay Industries. And <laughs> I think that was a recurring joke through the whole series because Vandalay seems to par pop up a lot. Um, Art Vandalay, the guy. And then I think that's a lamp that's right next to it. And they even have a nice little mouse right there, which is pretty cool. All right, so I think I'm just going to have to get a better view of this from the top. But inside there, you can see there's those heat registers, the little radiators. Those were really fun to build. You can see the keyboard now on the computer. There's that little uh, chair. And on the other side here, well, I'll get a picture of that in here just a minute. But on the back wall, there's that air conditioner. Um, I don't think I've seen that episode where they uh, do the air conditioner. I've seen clips of it. But there's actually some detail on there, and I wish I could get in there to show it to you because it's really hard to get in there and get enough light. But there's actually a little control panel in there and a vent and what looks like maybe a switch or something. Over here, we see that painting that Kramer had done, and he's standing in the exact same pose that the, uh, the painting had, so I think that's pretty cool. And it even has kind of the same facial expression. It's great. On the back here is this really nice bookcase, and you can kind of see all these random things that are stacked on here. Looks like maybe a stereo or something that's back there. I don't know if that uh, trophy is a reference. It probably is, and there's a prognosis negative. Um, I only saw clips of that episode, so I'm not exactly sure what that refers to. And also, whatever that is, where there's a little character right there. That might be maybe an award or something. I'm not really sure. Back here, I love this hallway. You always saw this hallway back there, and I never even noticed that there was a light back here, that little lamp. I don't know if you can see it. It's hard to get everything in here. Sorry about that. But see that little red lamp? I never noticed that there was a lamp back there until I built this set, and I was watching some episodes, and yep, that lamp is there. And that's the bathroom door, and you can open this door. Let's see, I think it opens. Oh, no, it does open out. So you can open it outward. There's no bathroom, so uh, they didn't put one in. Would have been kind of cool if they stuck a bathroom in there. And then there's that ever-present bicycle that you always saw sitting back there. Let me see if I can get enough light. You always had a bicycle hanging on the wall back there, and they, they put it in there. Kind of the same green color, too, so that's pretty cool. The kitchen was really fun to build. There's just all kinds of really cool things in here, and it looks just like it with this kind of bar section that kind of stands out, and it's got the vertical lines. you got the nice little bar stools. Not sure if the teacup and tea kettle have something to do with an episode. They prob probably do, and there's the burner, and you got the nice little gas gauges right there. That muffin, I'm assuming, is from the Muffin Top episode. <laughs> I'm sure that's what that was a re reference to. You can see the nice little sink there. They even have a roll of paper towels, which is really cool. And also the microwave. The microwave is pretty detailed as well. It even has a window on the front. Here's that big uh, shelf that they always had. It was, had a bunch of cereal inside there and it looks like a cup. It looks like a thing of orange juice or something. Not refrigerated, <laughs> I guess. And then this random thing. Those little uh, tiles inside there are just kind of loose, which I thought was kind of interesting the way they decided to do that. And here's that picture that George did when he was posing, posing in his underwear. <laughs> and they actually have a little picture of it right there. So, uh, yeah, it's really neat. And that whole area is done. You can see some more drawers back here. And over on this side, I'm guessing that's probably the oven door. But it doesn't open. The refrigerator is really great. You can see it's got the drink, uh, water, and ice dispenser. Superman, uh, I think Jerry was a big fan of Superman. The yada 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 thing on there. Um, let's see, Schmoopy, that's on there as well. Um, let's see, let me see if I can zoom in on that to see things a little better. Yeah, there's a cafe, a car. I think that's the producer, isn't it, of the show, that guy right there? Yeah, it's really neat. The refrigerator's a pretty neat build as well. And then on the side here, uh, you always saw those oven mitts that were changing all the time. In every episode, it seems like they were different. 
but I really like the ones they put on here. It's a little cow and it's a little cat. So I think that's pretty neat. And on his front door, there is that intercom system that you always saw him using and all the different locks on there. And then there's a hallway as well. So you can open the door to Jerry's apartment this way. And I like how they have the color on there. And then on the inside, you can see Kramer's apartment on the other side. Let me see if I can light it up enough. Just a really small area. And then there's actually a light sconce on the side up here. I don't know if you can kind of see it right there. So that's pretty cool. But what I really like about the, the hallway is the big meme that happened a couple years ago about this. So a couple of years ago, there was this big thing going around the internet about somebody noticing, and I'm, I guess nobody really noticed it before until this person caught it, that the apartment, Jerry's apartment doesn't really make any sense because of the hallway that goes out into the hall, which by the way, let me show you what that looks like inside there. It's a really small space in there. But the hallway doesn't make any sense because if the hallway is running, you know, this way, then it's going to go right through Jerry's kitchen. <laughs> so Jerry's kitchen area is actually sticking out into the hall because if you look back here, there is actually a door back here. Let me see if I can get back here. See that? There's actually a door right there. It doesn't have like a door that closes on it, but it's actually an opening for it. And um, in reality, I mean, you wouldn't be able to go anywhere. <laughs> I mean, that's how that thing is set up. You can kind of see. So it's funny, and I love that LEGO actually went ahead and built this set the way that the actual set is built, because it does have that flaw in it. And it is funny that nobody noticed it before, but I think that's hilarious that it's actually in this set. On the top here, we can see all the little uh, movie lights that they have in here. There's actually a little bulb inside there, and there's four of those. And the uh, little lens covers here, you can actually adjust those, and you can adjust the lights as well, whichever direction you want them to angle. This one here is a little bit too low. There you can see that bulb inside there. And those were actually the last things that you put together in this set. I think one of the reasons that this set is so appealing to me personally is because um, back in 1998, a friend and I uh, had the lucky opportunity to wander around Paramount Studios back lot. And while we were wandering around there, we got onto a soundstage where they used to film Happy Days. Those of you who could remember the TV show Happy Days, I used to absolutely love that show. And so it was really cool to go on the soundstage and walk around on the floor where they had those sets back then and did all those episodes where they filmed it. So when we were there, they were currently filming an episode um, of the series George and Leo. It had Judd Hirsch from Taxi and Bob Newhart. And the show only lasted 20 episodes or so. And I think you can find a few episodes of it here on YouTube. And... Um, when we got there, they had already started striking the sets because there was only the bookshop, the bookstore was still there, and a little bit of Bob Newhart's living room. But what was really cool is, you know, you walk around on a set like that, and just like this, you know, it's beautiful on the front, but then when you go around the back, it's all plywood. <laughs> That's what's so kind of cool about it. And then while we were walking around in the bookstore, you could go through different doors and the doors lead to nowhere. You know, I mean, it's not a real bookstore, of course. And there was some stairs. You could go up these stairs up to an upper level and there's supposed to be a room there, but there wasn't really anything up there either. And so I kind of like how this set kind of has that feel to it as well. I mean, of course, the back of most uh, Lego sets are going to look a little more crude. But what I really like about this one is that hallway that's in the back of Jerry's apartment where that bike is. Um, as you can see here, if you were to walk out of there, it, it actually doesn't go anywhere. And that's exactly how those sets were. And that was kind of the experience when we were out there. And so it kind of brought back some memories of that trip. And that was a really fun trip. We actually got to meet Eddie the dog from Frasier. Those of you who watched Frasier, little Eddie the dog, his real name is Moose. <laughs> and he was so cute. And he was really well trained. And he was just absolutely just a, a heart charmer. I mean, he, he was really super cute. So we got... Some really fun times on there. In case you're wondering about the measurements of this thing, it measures 13 inches across from this end to this end, and then it's seven inches deep from the front all the way to the back. So it takes up a, a relatively large space, but not too bad. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and display it on one of these big acrylic risers right here. And then that way I can elevate it on the shelf and still be able to utilize room underneath here for other stuff. So there we go, the brand new set from Lego for Seinfeld. I think they just knocked it out of the park for this set. It is really, really cool, very accurate. The minifigures are perfect. The little Easter eggs and homages to the different episodes are fantastic. Any Seinfeld fan is gonna just love all those little Easter eggs in there. 
And if you are a Seinfeld fan, this is kind of a must have. I mean, I'm just kind of a casual fan and I'm going to binge watch the whole series. I just ordered the whole box set on DVD. I, I figure I may as well just watch it and that way I can appreciate everything on it. So this set officially comes out on August 1st of 2021, but you can get it right now if you have the VIP card. And so that came out starting on July 21st. So it is available now for VIPs. It retails for $80. So uh, yeah, if you're interested in getting this set, I think you really got to get it. It's definitely one of the cooler sets from their line of TV shows. I think it's better than the Friends sets and definitely better than the uh, Big Bang Theory set. I really wish they would have done more with that. But yeah, this is a great set. Absolutely love it. Really fun to build all those cool little interior bits and pieces. So I would highly recommend it. <laughs> all right. Well, anyway, I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. And if you like the video, please give it a like. Also subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. And I will see you on the next episode. So thank you very much for watching and have a good one.